Iowa population is growing in Nebraska, at least when it comes to license plates. My niece lives in Grand Island and she um, bought one. Motorists have pounced on the new mountain lion plate, purchasing over 5,500 of them since they became available about four months ago. I'm not sure any of us ever dreamt that we'd sell that many. DMV officials credit the popularity to the design, which use a photograph of Omaha, the cougar that was tranquilized in the old mill area in 2003, and then taken to the Henry Dorley Zoo. His image was superimposed over a photo of Wildcat Hills in Banner County. Uh, to make it look like he was actually out in the hills. And the cost, which is only $5 more than the regular sewer plate. $40 more if you add a message. If they're only five bucks, gosh, no, I didn't know that. The senator who sponsored the legislation to allow the plates says he's pleased but not surprised by its success. Because I knew there were people out there who cared about the lions, but this proves it when they make a purchase of the plates. Ernie Chambers continues to push for a ban on hunting mountain lions in Nebraska. So far, the plate has already raised over $61,000, which will go to the Game and Parks Commission towards wildlife conservation education. So it's what I hate to use cliches. You can call a win-win situation even for the mountain lion. We asked some fans at the Boys State Basketball Tournament why the plates are doing so well. We like the animal and I think she thinks they're beautiful. I think it's a cool plate. But then again, he is a Lions fan. We could see a lot of them in Louisville since our mascot is a lion, yes. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7. And the DMV says the number of specialty plates overall has exploded in Nebraska, going from 10,000 in 2014 to more than 24,000 last year.